looking on uh, the detailed approach of uh, thematic review and actually the practical uh, oriented view how to write thematic literature review the first process is uh, identification of the themes and sub themes then there is a question will come up how we can identify the themes and sub themes of our uh, topic okay so we will uh, go through all these lessons uh, uh, by coming slides. Uh, here are uh, three more uh, tips uh, to write thematic literature review. Actually, uh, when we write reviews, the more you produce the word count, the more you can cut. So we need to have, uh, in the initial, we need to have more word count. We need to write more so that we can cut uh, or eliminate or remove something uh, based on the further uh, conceptual understanding. So, in the beginning stage, we can write more, okay? We can write about the methodology, we can critically write about the findings, we can critically say about the uh, sampling process, etc. So, we can also critical about the elimination of variables or something like some variables or construct were missed out, etc. So, uh, the more you can imagine yourself as a reader, looking at this for the first time the easier it will be for potential problems so it is better you can you can show your review to some other person because this is review only so they can understand they can easily identify your bottlenecks the more you demand of yourself in terms of clarity elegance the clearer and more elegant of your writing will be the basic purpose is the clarity is essential the elegance of writing is essential for achieving that purpose, you can try again, revise again, and show the write-up to some other person to check with the, them uh, regarding their, uh, regarding their uh, strength and weakness of your review. So basically, in the initial stages, you can produce more uh, word count so that you can remove, uh, you can cut the word count later. So the, there are some important things in thematic reviews when we collect uh, data. So we use uh, we use Manly or Setera for the purpose of uh, collection of literature. We can download uh, and save that those literature in Manly or Setera. But here we can you know uh, we can uh, we can have some kind of uh, principles to be followed. Only peer reviewed primary research articles should be included after being assessed to establish significance or trustworthiness. So you should consider only peer-reviewed article. What is peer-reviewed article? What is the significance of peer-reviewed article? So all peer-reviewed article means it go through the blind peer review system so that the article is having a good quality. Even though the peer-reviewed peer article, you should cross-check uh, regarding the significance and trustworthiness. So that the basic thing is whatever document you have downloaded and saved in your Mendeley, that should have a peer review that that should have a quality one so if you review some work which is substandard or published in predatory journals that may be a problem for you in later later part of your work so you should include peer reviewed indexed articles uh, indexed articles uh, for the purpose of reviews So critical appraisal questions in the thematic reviews. Whenever you find a find an article or a thesis, you can ask uh, the number of questions. Uh, the questions are this type of questions. Are the aim of the research clearly stated? So whether the research stated the the objectives clearly. So was the chosen methodology appropriate to respond to research question? Was the chosen methodology appropriate? The methodology adopted by the author is appropriate. If it is not appropriate, you can state that the methodology is not appropriate. So that that is a critical uh, writing, you know. So you can state straight away state that the methodology is appropriate or inappropriate, uh, and uh, the chosen design appropriate to respond to the research question. So research design, you can you can make a comment on the research design. And uh, what about the selection criteria of the participants? Do you have any other opinion regarding the participant selection or sample selection? Or the, uh, the was the selection criteria is appropriate? If it is not appropriate, you can state in, in the review. 
uh, was the data collection discussed in is sufficient uh, providing sufficient details uh, and data collection is appropriate or not how steps has have been taken to address possible research bias so the bias is a common tendency of the researcher so did this particular researcher has take any measures any any effort to address the biases and the ethical issues have been adequately addressed or not and the, you can make a comment on the data analysis data analysis has been rigorously made or uh, some bottlenecks of the risk data analysis and where the findings set out whether the research has sufficient findings and did their uh, study contribute to the existing literature so this uh, <coughs> work contribute to the existing literature if if there is a finding if there is a novel findings to the existing literature and that may be good for a research work so you should ask these kind of questions internally and you can review the literature that is what is needed in literature review so these questions are very significant the aims of the research clearly stated a chosen methodology appropriate to respond to the research question uh, was the chosen design appropriate to respond to the research question the selection criteria of the participant discussed sufficiently data collection is appropriate uh, research bias addressed or not uh, ethical issues addressed or not data analyzed in good manner or not findings are set out or not and the research is contributed to the existing literature so again and again you can ask these questions and straight away you can feel uh, whether this addressing these questions and if it is not you directly critically uh, write about the particular work okay so uh, these questions are important next uh, next i will uh, i will state about the the, the thematic uh, approach of uh, uh the thematic uh, approach of the scholar uh, and how we can eliminate i mean eliminate and include uh, the literature uh, in thematic reviews okay thank you